Close your eyes for a moment and imagine stepping onto an aircraft, sensing from the very first second that something is different. The shape is no longer the one we have known for decades. There is no long tube with wings attached as an afterthought. In front of you stands a single wide surface, a massive wing lifting itself into the air. This is not a distant vision. It is a real direction, studied today by aviation engineers. The aerospace industry is exploring a concept known as the blended wing body. In this design, the aircraft body and the wings are no longer separate elements. The entire aircraft becomes one continuous structure designed to generate lift. The difference is fundamental. In conventional aircraft, lift is produced mainly by the wings, while the fuselage adds drag. In a blended wing body, the entire surface of the aircraft contributes to lift. Weight is distributed across a much larger area, and airflow moves more smoothly, without abrupt changes in shape. Less drag means less energy is required to fly. Simulations and wind tunnel tests indicate fuel consumption reductions of 20 to 30 percent, depending on configuration and mission profile. For an industry consuming more than 95 billion gallons of jet fuel every year, even a 20 percent reduction represents a transformative shift. The engines are positioned differently as well. They are no longer suspended beneath the wings, but mounted along the upper or rear sections of the structure. This placement allows the engines to ingest smoother, more uniform air, while also reducing perceived noise on the ground. Materials complete the picture. The structure relies heavily on carbon fiber composite materials, lighter and stronger than traditional aluminum. Lower structural weight, once again, means lower energy demand. Together, these changes form an integrated system where each element reinforces the others. But the transformation is not only technical. It reshapes the interior completely. The cabin is no longer a narrow tunnel. It is integrated into the wing itself, creating a much wider internal space. Passenger distribution changes, and the feeling of confinement can be reduced. Comfort, however, depends on the final layout and on where each passenger sits within the cabin. There is also an unavoidable compromise. In a structure that functions as a continuous wing, windows become structural weaknesses. They interrupt load paths and complicate pressurization. For this reason, Future aircraft of this type may have very few windows, or none at all. The outside view could be replaced by interior displays connected to cameras mounted on the exterior of the aircraft. The sky does not disappear. It is simply perceived differently. The pressure driving this change is strong. Aviation must reduce emissions and overall energy consumption. And sometimes, progress does not come from more powerful engines, but from smarter shapes. Yet the path forward is not simple. Aviation certification authorities require extensive proof that radical new designs meet rigorous safety standards. Every structural element, every system interaction, must be tested and validated. For a design this different from conventional aircraft, the certification process alone could span a decade. Manufacturing presents its own challenges as well. Building large, curved composite structures at this scale demands new tooling, new assembly methods, and new supply chains. The first commercial aircraft of this kind will not appear immediately. Current estimates point to the next one or two decades, but the direction is clear. When energy becomes limited, shape is no longer an aesthetic choice. It becomes an inevitable consequence.